Hello guys, Alex here for Ready Set Go and welcome back to another tech video. If you are visiting for the first time or you haven't subscribed yet, please take a brief moment and click the subscribe button. Our channel is fairly new and we really can't do this without your support. Help us reach our goal of a thousand subscribers by year's end. With the rising popularity of online live TV streaming services such as Ling, Hulu Plus Live TV and YouTube TV, major cable providers have experienced a massive loss of subscribers who have cut the cord over the past few years. With more than 76 million households expected to cut the cord by 2023, many cable providers are scrambling to find ways of retaining customers. One of these companies is Comcast, who has made several moves since the start of the year. First was the launch of Flex, which is Xfinity's online media platform along with their 4K streaming box, which was introduced free of charge to internet-only customers back in September. Their most recent key move has been the addition of Peacock, which is Xfinity's newest streaming service, which launches nationwide on July 15th. As a current Flex owner, I've had the chance to explore this new streaming service since April, and will share with you an overview of the service. For a more in-depth look, on how Xfinity's Flex 4K streaming box and platform works, please check the link for my video review at the end of this video. If you go online to PeacockTV.com, you will be taken to their website, where it indicates you can sign up for free with no credit card information required. The site also explains how with Peacock you get access to movies, shows, in addition to Peacock channels, daily news, live sports, content for kids, movies and content in Spanish. And the best part of it all? It's free. But is it? The answer is both yes and no. But we will get into that later. You can access Peacock TV by using a web browser, tablet, Android box, Apple TV device, game consoles, and Xfinity boxes including Flex. Even though I'm a current Xfinity customer, I created an account with a different login to test the sign-up process and it's pretty simple, with no credit card information required. Once you sign in, you will be taken to the welcome screen, and from there to the Peacock's homepage, where you can browse the following categories. Featured content, TV shows, movies, kids, news, sports, and Latino. The featured page showcases content such as Dirty Rock, the Peacock original series Psych 2, America's Got Talent, and many more. The first section starts with Peacock Picks, followed by Feature Films, Peacock Originals, Free Laughs, All the Drama, Reality Shows, Black Voices, Feature Channels such as NBC News, Today All Day, SNL Vault, among many more. The free big screen hits is next, with blockbuster hit movies such as Jurassic Park and Matrix trilogies. Underneath, you will find shows to binge, and the true crime section with shows such as Deadline and Unsolved Mysteries. Always On includes shows such as Days of Our Lives and The Kelly Clarkson Show. Following Always On, you have The Road to Tokyo Olympics, Timeless Classics, and Kids Corners, with shows such as Curious George and Woody Woodpecker. Up next, Peacock offers a variety of unlockable content when you upgrade, followed by Hidden Gems, Crime Solvers, Competition Shows, and Sci-Fi Fantasy. The following three sections are Hitchcock and Horror, based on the book, and Adrenaline Junkies. Concluding the featured page is the All You Need Is Love section. The TV Shows page starts featuring shows like America's Got Talent, Parks and Recreation, and Kevin Costner's Yellowstone. The current TV section is right underneath, with shows like World of Dance and The Titan Games. The next two sections are Latest Episodes and Looking for Laughs, with some content locked for premium members only. Up next are the following sections. 
standout dramas, reality fix, award winners, peacock originals, true crime, sci-fi and fantasy, throwbacks, binge from the beginning, feeling competitive, it's a living, and thrillers. Following thrillers, you will find Looking for Love, Crime and Punishment, TV Families, Home Improvement, Favorite Psych Episodes, and Comedy Bites. Concluding the TV Shows page, you have the SNL Sports Collection and a listing of all TV shows in alphabetical order. The Movies page features films such as The Bourne Identity, Jurassic Park, and The Matrix. Up next, you have the following sections. Rotten Tomatoes Approved, Comic Relief, Serious Cinema, Action Adventure, Feel Good Features, Sci-Fi and Fantasy, Hitchcock, The Master of Suspense, Cold Corner, Documentaries, Classic Universal Monsters with films such as Dracula, Frankenstein, and The Invisible Man. Dynamic duos, followed by a section dedicated to Nicolas Cage, are next. Right underneath, you will find the following. Indies, Familiar Faces, Family Movie Night, Golden Age of Hollywood, 1930s, Hidden Gems, followed by Thrillers and Suspense. The next sections are SNL alums, Westerns, I Love the 90s, Fright Night, and Classics. The movie page concludes with a listing of all movies in alphabetical order. The kids page features content such as Curious George, Shrek, and Woody Woodpecker. Up next, you will find the following Movie Night, TV Time, Tiny Tots, Animated Comedies, Cute and Cuddly, Animated Adventure, Beat the Summer Heat, and Animated Shorts. For the little do-it-yourselfers, Peacock offers the Quick Crafts and Projects sections. The kids page concludes with monsters and goals and an alphabetical listing of all the kids TV shows and movies. The news page features NBC Nightly News, Meet the Press, Dateline, and many more. Top Headlines brings you the latest news highlights, followed by latest episodes and news from NBC News, MSNBC, and CNBC. Following next are short documentaries, explainers, in-depth interviews, entertainment, and Noticias Telemundo, bringing you the latest news and highlights in Spanish. Right underneath, you will find news on COVID-19 and its effects on politics and around the world. Concluding the news page are some random food segments and travel news. The sports page features the Peacock original series, Lost Speedway, In Deep, and Cleveland Hustle, with LeBron James. The first section you will find is Premier League highlights, followed by top sports stories, Road to Tokyo, and sports documentaries. Next, you will find NFL preview segments, followed by In the Spotlight, Golf Channel, Football, Soccer, SNL The Sports Collection, Hockey, Basketball, Baseball, and Motorsports. Telemundo Deportes will bring you the latest sports news in Spanish. One advantage that Peacock offers over other services is having a Latino page, featuring comedy, novelas, and entertainment all in Spanish. Lo Mas Nuevo brings you the latest content, followed by movies, popular news, action and revenge, romantic content, 
and movies and shows for the whole family. Following next are Can't Miss Shows, Incredible Lives, News Segments, Entertainment and Sports. The Latino page concludes with an alphabetical listing for all Latino content. Back at the browse screen, if you select the icon on the right, you can access your actual plan, which in this case is Peacock Free. You have the option of upgrading to Peacock Premium, which unlocks additional content for $4.99. There's also a Peacock Premium Plus, which removes most ads at a cost of $9.99 per month. Comcast also offers annual plans, charging $49.99 for the premium version and $99.99 for the ads-free premium plus. If you are an Xfinity or Cox customer, you might be eligible to get Peacock Premium at no cost, with the option to upgrade to Plus for only $5 per month. Under Settings, you can also set a parental control pin, in addition to having age restriction settings for additional peace of mind. On the far left corner, you can access the Peacock channels, which include NBC News Live, Today All Day, SNL Vault, Office Shorts, QWeek, Fallon Tonight, Seth Meyers Now, CNBC Kashin, CNBC Make It, Sky News, Peacock Reality, Kiss Me Deadly, True Crime, Unsolved Mysteries, American Greed, Hell's Kitchen, Tastemade, The Rob Ross Channel, Fail Army, Out of This World, 80s mixtape, In It to Win It, and Poker. So what are my overall thoughts on Peacock TV? One thing I noticed is that the user interface for Peacock suffers some of the same design issues as Flex, with too many options and content repeating itself throughout all pages and sections. One way to minimize this problem would have been to include a keyword listing, similar to YouTube TV for example. Even though Peacock Free has no cost, you have to pay extra to fully unlock everything that's being offered. Through this, if I had to pay for the free version as it is right now, I would pass on it. Because of this, I personally don't think the premium nor plus options are worth paying at this moment. I'd rather keep the free version and spend those 5 or 10 bucks towards a Netflix, Hulu, or Disney Plus subscription, for example. Now with that being said, if Comcast were to combine a reasonably priced entry-level live TV package with Peacock for a monthly price of let's say $35 per month, that would add tremendous value and would even attract cord cutters who might have left them in the first place or who might be unhappy with their service providers. As it is right now, I don't really have a clear view of what are Comcast's intentions with this service. Is it being positioned as a Netflix competitor? Will it shift to include live TV channels in the future? One possibility is that once they grow their content catalog, the Peacock free version will either be more limited or no longer will be free. In my opinion, the free version of Peacock is totally worth it and a great way to complement your other paying subscriptions. There are some glimmers of hope that this service could become a major asset for Comcast in the future. Only time will tell if this was a brilliant idea or just a major flop. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and most importantly, subscribe to our channel. This is Alex for Ready, Set, Go. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time.